Hi, my name is Saul Montoya from Qatari Water, and this time we are going to do a nice uh, tutorial on how to apply styles to rasters in QGIS. And so this time we have two rasters. We have a raster of a water table, phreatic table, and then we have another raster of a digital elevation mapping that comes from the Aster, uh, from the NASA. Uh, well, this time, um, as you can see, this is the. Um, sorry. This is the water table elevation that is interpolated from another software, and this is the Astrodem that is uh, this part of a bigger image. So what we are going to do is to do some styles because both are on on the on a color scale that goes from black to white, and maybe this is not the best um, the best layout that you can that you can have. So I mean the water table we are going to do um we are going to put it on, on tones of blue and besides that these tones of blue we are going to give some transparency so how this is done it's quite simple you just do right click right click to the to the properties and my QAG my QGIS is in Spanish but it's the same in English I mean the same location properties so we have this this window and uh, on the style we go from univanda to i don't know how it is in english but to this to the fourth option and into the fourth option we uh, we say we want it on tons of blue so we are going to do from uh, you can select many color scale this one is okay and we put classify so if we put classify, we have um, five ranges of blue, could be okay. If you want more ranges, like you just go to equal interval and maybe say ten, no, could be. It's up to you. And you can you can sort this like you can. And imagine that you that you want this this interval to have another color. So just you just do double click and maybe select another color that you might want so this interval will be in, in this color yes. mm -hmm. and then you can save the styles and then you can put this style into another raster could be as well, why not? yep, so we put this, we do acceptar and then we forget, I mean to give transparency. Transparency is okay because we want to, to see the the aster them that is on the back. So we as we come back and then we do right click, we go to properties, and on properties we go to transparency that is the third option here and then we do 50%, 50%. Apply and okay. So we have our we have our um, water table elevation with transparency mm -hmm. and then to the uh, after them we want as well to have another uh, to have colors that go from maybe from yellow to orange something like that and like trying to retrieve what what will be the <laughs> the true color of this maybe we go from green to to brown I mean let's let's look which kind of options do we have so we go to properties and on properties um, by right clicking on the on the on the SLM so I mean right click and then you go to properties and on properties we go to style and then you go to the four options and then you select maybe this time we want something that goes from green at the top of, at the bottom so maybe this one let's see fine but we want to the green to be on the bottom and we want to brown to be on the on the top so we go to inverse then when we, we go to classify and then we have green on the bottom and um, 
brown on the top so and then we go so we put 10 here okay it's okay and then we go apply and then we go okay so we have another view of the after them of the digital elevation model and this view is more realistic or maybe it's more human user friendly and then we can plot our uh, water table elevation but may maybe this time is the transparency is not playing fair on us but well and this was the purpose of this tutorial like to to give these uh, options raster option styles in QGIS um, please follow by our Facebook that is facebook.com slash Hatari water and if you like this video and the other tutorials I will be posting um, just put like on that okay thank you my name was Saul Motoya from Gida Hatari from Hatari water Um, I forgot the files for this um, for for to do this um, this raster will be posted on the link that is below on this video. Okay, once again, thank you.